Some Santa Fe homeowners were hoping they could spend evenings relaxing in their backyards, enjoying the view of a beautiful park. But they say they're being robbed of that luxury, and now they're asking City Council for help. News 13's Rachel Knapp is live in the Newsplex with the story. Rachel? Jessica, the neighborhood says they haven't had peace and quiet for nearly 10 years, thanks to some rowdy teens on ATVs. Now they want a fence around the park to keep them out. And as you can see, my wife and I have put a lot of effort into this place. It's a shame not to be able to enjoy it. Jerry Joyce's house overlooks Santa Fe's Swan Park near I-25 and the airport. He says the view is stunning from his backyard. They consider it a mini getaway, but it's not as peaceful as you'd think. At one point last year, there wasn't one weekend or one weeknight that you can enjoy your backyard. He blames it all on ATV drivers trespassing into Swan Park. Then they'll run back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and then end up down here by the basketball court. For the past 10 years, Joyce says people on ATVs have been a menace to his neighbors and park goers. Each weekend and weeknight after school, they uh, make a lot of noise, a lot of dust, and they also imperil the public. They'll come close doing wheelies, dust ups, ruining parties. It's torn up some of the terrain. It's torn up the turf, which is very expensive. The Parks Department says they are tired of the problem too and want City Council to build a fence around Swan Park, including parts that aren't even developed yet. It's a barrier. It's not evasive. It really blends in. It's going to look nice with our national terrain here, but it is going to prevent vehicles, um, whether they're ATVs or motorcycles, from coming in. For these neighbors, they believe the fence will stop ATV drivers from coming into the park and will finally give them some peace and quiet. I'll be looking forward to that fence going in. People could be cited for driving an ATV in the park. However, the city says they haven't been able to catch them. Police are even training right now on how to stop them. Jess. All right, thank you, Rachel. The total cost to fence off Swan Park will be $120,000. City Council will have to sign off on the plan.